is when like so, yeah so when when i'm like doing a throw to to um to rebounds that that, that somehow i'm still helping out with the wrist for those sequence strokes you know mm -hmm. so kind of trying, instead of just letting the rebound do its thing i'm kind of like you know applying wrist to it and it gets to a speed that if you do that it's just going to slow you down it can't progress f further right well i i do think it's faster playing everything on fingers is a, a lot more work although you can get stuff out playing with fingers this is not even just fingers so so like for example here right so i'm just this is just kind of the stick rebound which you know like when you, for example, doing the fan tap, right? Right? So, which is good. Now, for me, what I've noticed is that when the speed starts building up, that I, I start applying also wrist to the to the rebounds instead of just allowing the rebounds to do its thing, you know? Uh-huh. Only with my left hand, but, you know, I've noticed, so I was like, being very conscious about is my wrist stopped when I do the stroke or does it like continue moving? <laughs> you know, so I was just paying loads of attention to it, you know. You'd be throwing for three, right? Yeah. Go ahead and throw for three. I'll, I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you lead the lesson right now. And if it's slow, it's okay-ish. When it starts getting faster, it's just allowing the thing to happen. I'm kind of trying to force it down. You know? See, I can feel it. See. You should be able to go faster without. There's no time for wrists, so, and there's it almost feels like there's no time for fingers. <coughs> okay. Yeah. So now, can I do that in my left? Okay. Trying to get to this position. Follow through. Use the script very often. It's just not. See, so it kind of gets to this speed that, and I, yeah, that I can feel my wrist is trying to, you know, help out when it's just let it go. Just wrist? I'm not using it, but just turning. Okay. And then you have on the eye on the surface. And a eye on the surface. That's pretty fast, you know. If you think about it, it's going da 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 so once again, just play and let the stick die on the surface. And so this is a Richard Martinez thing where he talks about the fact that the faster you turn, the faster 
the rebounds. Okay. Okay, so if you think about that speed right there. So that's that's a pretty fast. You could take the first two and turn that into doubles. Or you could take the first three and play flam taps, for instance, right? These strokes are combinations of, of certain numbers of rebounds and up motions to accomplish accents. So you, well, first, the first thing you want, yeah. You see, so if you were to if you were to play five notes, go ahead and play five notes. There, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Da 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 da. 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 Da da da. Okay, put the metronome on at eighty. you're looking for five and go ahead and play six and just do this just go da 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 one two three four da 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 one two three four five six click click one two three four five six click click one two three four five six click click No need to do anything funny with your baby finger. The focus, the focus is what now? What is our focus? First of all, where's your fulcrum? I mean, in this particular case, it's more in the middle finger. Really. Particular case, fulcrum is a fulcrum is a fulcrum. Oh, it depends how you feel it. Okay, so you're going to decide where that fulcrum is. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it here in the middle finger. Maybe a little bit forward on the middle finger, Raph. Right in here. Right? Because a fulcrum, by definition, is a, a point of inactivity. Right? right. So, we are applying force to either one side of the fulcrum or the other, not directly to the fulcrum, yeah, but to one side of it or the other, because yeah. it's a first, first class lever and the beam rocks over fulcrum so that the force and resistance are constantly shifting, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we need to identify the fulcrum and we want to when we land, know exactly where we feel it in the fulcrum. Right as you land, where do you feel that point of impact? So there is that to consider. Uh huh. Go ahead and meditate on that for a moment. Kind of in the middle, really. Why don't you feel it just forward of the, right in here, not right in the center of the middle finger, just a little forward. Tiny bit. Now we're getting into real subtleties. OK. Now here's the other thing. We're listening. We should be listening, right? Notice how the stick. Seems to become more and more quiet as it rebounds. Doesn't it? Yeah, of course. It trails yeah. off, doesn't it? Do mm -hmm. the other hand. See if you can get it to trail off in a similar way. Okay, so if you were to put the metronome on. So it feels on my right hand that it does bounce more. It's the same. It's the I'm, same hand. I'm, I'm just, I just say what I feel. Man. <laughs> well, that, that's cool. So you just need to figure out. Yeah. What, what? What is different? Are you feeling the impact in the same location in both hands as you get to the surface? Probably. 
the sound is similar. The left is bouncing just fine. No, I know. They're, I'm, both, I'm they're, they're both actually. OK, so back on at 80. OK, and you're going to play. Six in one hand and then six in the other with two beats breath. One, two, three, four. Two beats each, right? Yeah. One, two. One, two. One, two. Not bad. Is he, he dying off in a similar kind of way so that mechanics of each hand are very similar? OK, now just play five in each hand. Okay, now six with no with no rest in between. on each hand, I feel that my wrist is starting to play with it. Uh, I, I, I noticed at six, you were... Hey, look, look at my wrist. It moves. Now, first of all, let's see. Let's see what it really does. I think it's because I feel it bounces less, I overcompensate it. Well, you know, there's something happening in here. It's so tiny. Mm, no, you're, not, you're not going to hold it rigid. And ultimately, it's the same six notes. It's just because I'm doing them in subsequence that all of a sudden I feel my wrist has a compensation. It's, it's fascinating. What I, what I don't want you to do is try to hold any part of the system in a rigid sort of way. Exactly. Okay. Right. 
time. Ah, so painful. <laughs> now you, now you, I can see the left does have a propensity to want to add to the situation. We're yeah, just turning once. Well, this is an exercise for you. It might be a challenge for a while. Keep the metronome on and keep it going. Yeah, you're right. Wait, 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 wait. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five. 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 Now we're at five. Okay. That's one. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. It's going to, you're, you're, um, you're going to hear two clicks. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So the first of the five will always land on the metronome. No, 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 no. If it's five, then it's quick, right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Here, listen. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Right. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. Oh, not bad. Four. No, 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 no. It's not gonna, it's not gonna happen. It's just one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There you go. I just easy turn. Good. Yeah, it's interesting because I was trying to fix this just with the throw, but actually this is the way to fix it, just to watch the way to be wrist turns and that's it, right? Uh, keep it, it going. It's it, it kind of um, 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 a spin-off of the Apex. See, look, look what I did here, right? Eh? <laughs> All right, now I want you to play just three notes. Keep going, we're going to take this all the way down. We'll see how far. Actually, pretty easy. Not a lot going on. One, two, three. 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 Two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Two. Okay, so. Um, this is a good exercise. I think so. I need to do this with you. All right. So, so we've got this, right? Three. Metronome back on at 80. And I just want you now to throw for three. So first we're going to go one, two, three, click, two, two, three, click. One, two, three, click, one, two, three, click. One, two, three, click, one, two, three, click. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Now when we go to play the flam tap, it's going to go. One, two, 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 one
one, two, one, two, that, 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 that. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So it works over, it's like triplets and groups of four. Yep. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. And that should take us into the flam tab, which is kind of what you were alluding to earlier. Right? Go ahead and try that this exercise. Okay. So even the 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 the, the three notes is also with a throw or not? Well, the three notes are going to be with a throw with a click in between. Then you're going to eliminate the click and throw seamlessly from one hand to the other. And then you're going to go into the four, uh, groups of four, uh, triplets in the, as groups of four. No, 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 no. Da, da, da. Uh. Da, da. And it'll go da 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 hey, da. Sorry. Three notes. Da da da. No, 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 but you got to get the three notes. Hey, I got the three notes. I'm, I'm not hearing all three. Watch. Ah 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 ah. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. No, 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 it's triplets. Da, 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 da. One oh, and right. two. Oh, okay. There it is. And that's going to be the speed, even when you're. That'll be the speed of the, of the notes. Each hand will be throwing for three notes that speed. You've got to play flam taps. Ah, 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 Right. There it is. Right. Ah. It's the same speed. One, two, three, four. Count out loud. You got it. One, two, three, four. Uh -huh. two. But can you hear the four against it? Can you hear that you're still in what? Okay, Ralph, just a second. It is, it is, yeah. Okay, it's cool. Okay. But I want you to keep counting in four. So that when you're playing with this band that you're hooking up with, you can do this stuff and still hear the tune in four. You, you're just modulating. You don't want to lose the the uh, the origins of the pulse. You know, we, we can't lose track of of the time, the tempo, the feeling of the original groove, right? Because if we're playing with a band, so it would be to actual music. So I want you to count. Try counting. If you can't do it now, I want you to work on it at home. But Dick, I'm, I, I tell my students, counting out loud is a big deal. Okay, so go ahead and play this. I want to hear you count. One. No, wait, just start with this. Start with the Start with the triplets, right? Start start with the three in each hand seamlessly. No, 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 no gap. No gap. Da, 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 da. One and a two and a three and a four and a. One, two and a three and a four and a. One and a two and a three and a four and a. And keep 
counting that way. An and a two and a three and a four. Now, now. Flam tops. Huh? Ah, now, go into flam tops. Oh, one and a two and a three and see so you want to hear the one, two, three, four. Yeah. Now you're hearing two, three, four. Okay. Okay, so you can do this. One, two, you gotta be able to count. Ah! A two and a three and up. You're counting what you're playing. It's not no big deal. <laughs> if only <laughs> my brain is frying. One, two, one, two, one, two. One and a two, it's eighth note triplets. One a two and a and a one and a two and a one and a two. You go. Now we're count up to four. One and a two and a three and a four and a one. One two. One. Oh, it's shifted. And two and two. You're gonna work on this at home because I want to keep moving. Okay, it's a very, it's a very cool exercise. Maybe for now, I I took it up to a much faster tempo. But for now, it's more important that you just get this feeling in your body. Because all you're really feeling is this. Right? In both hands. Uh, 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 that's all it is. It, which is born out of one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or just one, two, three. Or a throw. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or a throw for three. So what I've got is three. It's born out of this. Well, this is a really big deal. I know. I know it is. Okay. And you're... And you're thinking about it now. I'm conscious about it. Came into the lesson thinking about that. Now, we're working on the flamenco. Let's take another look at that. Mm -hmm. Let's just make sure that. I keep kind of bringing you back, addressing concerns that you present to me at the beginning of the lesson at this, this instance. What did you get this up to? Uh, I can't remember. Seven. And the other side. So we could or we could we we have to decide are we going to throw for the first plan or just turn for it 
I like definitely to throw for the last slam. That's what I've been doing. Uh, uh, up to throw. Uh, up throw. Up throw. Not in three, first of all. That's cool. One, two, three, one, two. It's one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, so this, so we're gonna we're gonna start with the first iteration, which is a right flam, meaning the left is the appoggiatura. And that left phrase note is the upstroke yeah. that leads to the accent. So let's just keep this nice and easy for a second. And then we're going to make a throw in the right at the end. So all you're getting is this. Uh -huh. Go and play it now. Okay, so metronome on it, let's see. I think it is awesome. Put it on at 60. <clears throat> Let me see, it should rebound there, won't it? Da, 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 da. what's happening here. Click. Click two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Just do that. One, two, three, four, five. Now just play two of them. Da da. Mm -hmm. See, that has to happen. So or uh, uh, so see, let me see. Uh, wait a sec. Hold on a sec. So it's a little turn for the double, huh? Watch. Watch, watch, watch. Yeah, a little turn for five. Now it's a little smaller turn. Make, make it a little, there you go. Now two of those. See, it will bounce. You're, you were playing out on the wrist. See, it's going to go, ah, 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 ah. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. That's the squeeze and the release we talked about. In other words, if you're doing this and then you want to do this and play a rebound. Speed, you should be able to get a pretty big throw in uh, uh, if you want. You're going to make a throw in the other hand for the flam. There it is. So there's a little upstroke in the left, isn't there? Up to a throw. Yeah, it's kind of like there's kind of two upstrokes, really, kind of. Right, right. It's one in the beginning, and then one with for the, you know, the, the, the yeah. But we're what we're looking to do is is in action, and then allow that stick to rebound for those two notes, not played on the wrist. 
and play in the center. Uh huh. It's a little throw, isn't it? Not the throw. So up throw. Up throw. Watch, watch, watch this, this subtle thing. Watch my left. See the throw? You're stopping up here. I'm stopping here. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, and then I turn. Yeah, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. See, that's the squeeze and release. Yeah, so your throat's not stopping down. Something's not bad. Okay, that's what you want to get now. Play the stroke and see if you can get that. Yeah, okay. Come on, in time. It's got to be in at 60. There you go. Oh. Good, go the other way. All right, so you're catching on, so it's getting better. This stroke really isn't, a, there you go. See, and, 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 and to get that, you just want to remind you, what does it feel like to play yeah. five? What does it take to play five? If you can play five, you can play two. You're getting five rebounds without turning for each one of them. So you can get two rebounds. That's all you're doing. And then you're going to play the accent. Go on, play an accent. Okay, that that's what's happening. Good. Now, now you can imagine how this will help. See, this is why I want you to play jazz. Go ahead and keep that going in the left hand. Yeah, it's it's symbol time, right? So it is symbol time. It could be symbol, but we could just symbol time that way, right? Okay, so you see that all of this stuff is going to connect yeah, with, yeah. with other things in your play. Okay. That's why it's really good. It's a it, it's a good idea to be out there actually playing. So it's like, oh my god, I'm you oh look, I'm doing oh I'm using this here. It'll it'll occur to you or or it won't. Or you'll be watching some video back and oh yeah. There's Murray Spivak right there. I know him anywhere, right? Okay, so now I want to, the next stroke, we have time for this. The next stroke, let's keep moving. We'll just keep this nice and simple. Let's focus on those elements that I pointed out. Now we want to go to page 13, the rough. Again, this will connect similarly. There are only seven basic strokes, right? And we're going to combine them, and it allows us to play the entire library. Ta 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 ta. <laughs> That's right. And and Marie, Marie would, would would think that way, right? Which is kind of typical for drumming. A paradiddle actually sounds like paradiddle. Yeah. Rough. He's got described as ta ta ta. The ta ta is pianissimo. You notice the ta. The last ta is forte. Ta ta ta. So we're going to start with the open, open, 
This can be considered, the rough is, could be a drag, as Maurice indicated. It's also known as a half drag, or it can be a three stroke roll. Right? We got the open drag or the rough. So now we have two grace notes. Da da ba, da da ba, da da ba, da da ba, and it goes two, one, two, one. To the appoggiatura, it's still an appoggiatura. It a little more open. More open? Yeah, I was about to say it's, yeah, okay. Okay, and let's get a metronome setting. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Put it at 48. So now what I'm going to have you do is, although it's not written this way, I'm going to have you play the open drag as Murray has indicated uh, as eighth notes playing the close drag, but we're going to play the open drag that way too. So, no, so in other words, instead of we're thinking the metronome is a quarter note, right? Stay with me, Raph. Da 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 ba, da da ba, two, one, 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 two. You see, I can see why he did that. When you start to bring them closer together, the inclination is to want to close them up a little bit. Okay, so see, Murray's teaching me right now, right? As, as opposed to doing what I just suggested, this guy's a genius. I mean, probably a pretty good reason. Put the metronome up to 72. Let's do it this way. <laughs> and let's play it as Murray has written it. Let's honor Murray. Yeah, don't mess with Murray. noticing is, Raph, is that, and this is what you're dealing with, you see the flamicune will now help you with the rough, because you're not always stopping in the same place. 
if we were just going to make downstrokes, we would want them to stop in essentially the same place as much as possible every time, right? And then when we go to play our uh, our roughs, you see, I you see how I stop and then I make a little turn. If I'm even going to turn, I could just play from parallel. From parallel. You see, but the, see how stable everything is. The right, where is it going to stop when you land? Well, go ahead and do that. Get it to stop there. See, watch what happens. You do this ref. Watch, watch. You go, ba, ba, see if I can duplicate it. Ba, 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 ba. And what are you doing? Da, 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 da. Oh, as you go up, I guess. You touch. You almost touch the surface, although there's no note there. See, because you're not moving around this fixed point in the universe. That's up the double, huh? Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. So watch where my double stops, Raph. Watch, watch my double. I'll watch my left hand. Watch the double. It stops here. It doesn't dip down. It doesn't go, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. The other guy's playing. No one's going to be paying any attention to me. See? See it's how it's not? See, it's not just stopping here and then stopping here. It stops here, here. So I don't want this to be too quick. 72 is already pushing it. Okay, notice how stable it is. Ah, ah, ah. We're back to symbol time. And it's got to be stable. See, I'm always here. Ah, 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 ah. The idea is to always stop relatively in the same position over and over. You know, within reasonableness. Oh, see? Dragging the left on the surface. Okay, so slow it down back to put it back down to uh, we have 48. So go on and put it down to 60. What did I just have you? 72. Okay. Put it down to 60. Look, no, we don't drag the beat up on the way up. All right, okay, hold on. Show me a downstroke in the left. We're like, we're picking away at this now. These are the subtleties. I know you're into it, too. It's cool. You know, you know, I'm into it. Yep. yep. See, I just want you to make a throw. You don't touch on them. That's where it stays. Like that. See how stable it is? Look at your beat. Look at your bead. See, it's half inch over. It's half inch above the surface. It's a half inch. <laughs> it's, it's make a throw. See, you're really moving around a particular point. There it is. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to play a double in between. Now you're just going to play a double. See, there, oh, it dipped. After your double, it dipped. Play a double. There, now go up from there, that's it. You're Double, right. Go on up. You're right, you're right. I know I'm right. I know. And it's cool that you know that I know. You're right. I can feel it. Yeah. No, you mean. Yeah. Right? Now it's stable. Now it's stable. All right. Do that in the other hand. It's the stuff you're going to have to work on. Don't let it dip. No dipping. Nope. Oh, it dipped. It dipped. It dipped. It dipped. There it is. See? Feel the fixed point in the universe. Thank you, Richard Martinez. Go around that. There you go. See why I'm there? There's real symbol time. Yeah. That will help you with your flamacue. That's isn't that what the flamacue does? Essentially, it stops there. Then you have to play a double. 
There you go. Yeah, it's a very different. OK, now let's move on to the closed drag. So now the appoggiatures are going to be closer together. The notes will be faster. Let's have the metronome on. We started at 48. So we're going to go to repeat the experiment. Pay attention to that. That's kind of like the platform, right? This is some kind of platform. Half inch bead to butt end over the playing surface. Parallel bead to butt end over the playing surface. There's your there's your floor, your platform. Can't lose that with this technique. Yeah, look at your setup. Your setup looks better too. You know, it's like, oh, well, now I'm ready. Now I'm ready to play. Now I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm moving around this stuff. Turning. I'm moving around. Right? It's always, always here, there. But now, now the closed drag is eighth notes. For the reason that I pointed out, I believe. And I don't have it. No, but it's to come by your right stopping. Look at your right. Yeah, on the last one you stopped down. <laughs> Just stopping here. Okay. All right. So. So we're going, uh, 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 see, see, see where it stops. Uh, uh, mm. Now it's not this. Now the appoggiatura is faster. See, it always stops down. So in this particular case with the close roll with the close drag, most likely will be just a turn from parallel, not necessarily even going up, right? It's not even a risk turn for the doubles, right? Reasonable question. Uh uh, mm, uh, a bit, yeah. uh, let's see, if this, as it starts to speed up, you're right. I start to, I start to get this kind of action. So this goes to get speed, yeah. I guess I could turn up for it. So, but the, 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 the gig is stop and turn to the surface yeah and, and make, make your up go ahead and do it yeah the metronome we're going to slow it down again metronome put the metronome down to 40. Remember, we're looking to maintain that position, that stable position. Come on, watch it in the left. The right's doing good. No, the left dips right there. The left dips right there. Get it? Like that. over the surface. Yeah, I'm always moving around that fixed point in the universe. Right started to stop up. Go. Don't let the left notes stay at 40. Right there, the left is. Ah, right there. Let's repair right. Now, in this case, the right is better than the left. Only because the left just doesn't know that there are certain parameters that it needs to fight. You know, uh, 
relate to or parameters that need to be observed. OK, so. So if we were just going da da, yeah, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, so would this be it? Something like that. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. Can you just do that? You go. See, it doesn't go any lower. Watch. Da da. It's da da. Ah. Uh. Do it. Slow it down a little bit. Da da. Oh, it, don't let it dip. See, it's, it's going to be that slow. Da da. Ah. Da da. So now we're now we're playing the uh, the uh, the grace notes more quickly. But it's in remedial sense. The metronome on at 40. Let's do this to the metronome. See if this, I can help you with this. Da da. No, no. The metronome's here. Da da. Ah. Da da. This is the remedial. Da da. Ah. So watch, it's not even an upstroke, it's so slow. Bada. Right on the verge where it could be, but it's not. Yep. Did it dips on the way up? No, you lose it. You'd actually almost touch. You'd hear that on a snare drum. You drive an engineer crazy. What is that little sound I'm hearing? No, nope, right there. No, you see, see what you're doing? You're trying to make you're trying to make this something. You're trying to make it an up of some sort, leading with your arm. Instead of just going da da and wait. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. It's not enough. Just go da da and wait here for a sec. Okay. Da da and then go up. There. Nope. Nope. It goes da da. Da no. No. Da da and wait. Do you want me to, to do a wrist turn? So for the doubles, is that it? I want a wrist, a little wrist turn. Look, watch. You can, you don't have. A, a, I, I think I understand what the confusion is now. If you don't have to turn to the surface, excuse me, towards the ceiling to play two notes. Watch. Yeah, there. See, and it stops parallel. Now you can go up. You can wait for a sec. No, don't don't go up right away. Okay, okay, okay. All right. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Now go up, keeping the bead right there. Don't dip it. You're dipping. You're dip. That's it. There you go. Don't dip. You oh, dip. It's so hard, man. Fucking hell. It's new to you, and, and it'll just ruin your speed if you. Yeah, there you go. You don't have to go up so fast. Just take your time. You might want to do this without an. I'll have you do this without a metronome, perhaps. And as well at 40. You don't have to go up right away. That up. And then go around that fixed point. There it is. There it is. Now you go. There it is. Do that with the other hand. That's what you need to practice. Oh, not bad. He writes a little better. There you go. See, now they're going to be kind of the same. Oh my God, they'll be the same. So we're here, we're here at 40, right? We're here at 40. Uh, uh, uh. Now, nah, I want to get to that right now. See, if I turn faster, here I'm even turning up a little for the. We can once you get to this beat, right? Now I'm not even throwing. But you still you see what? See you'll still notice. See the stability? I'm moving around. 
of the exponent in the universe. That can also see. Because I'm using rebound, I get up to have the potential at this speed to, to do that. Or not. See how small the throw is now? Okay. So you're going to work on that. Now, at this speed, so if we were to play the open drag, go ahead and play the open drag again at 40. Put the metronome on at 40. Uh -huh. Now the speed of the doubles is going to become doubles. Maybe we will play them. As we stop, then we're going to go. We're connecting the feeling of which it's just a rebound double. It's coming along. It's always going to stop at that half inch parallel to be done. The end position. And doubles are better. So just, just play doubles and I'll call that a roll stroke. So one, da, 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 da. Okay. We're playing, it's like 30 second note doubles. Yeah. Okay. Which means you're really at 80 right now, okay? Which is cool, okay? Give, give me a seven stroke roll Ca and counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, the surface and you can play a double and not dip. Double dipping. There it is. Move around that point. There it is. Other way. Other way. Come on, where are you stopping? Why is that bead so inconsistent in terms of where it stops? The whole stick should be stopping parallel, beat to butt end. Both ways. Keep stopping that left. Stop parallel. <laughs> uh -huh. Um okay. Let's okay, let's crank it up a little more. Let's see what happens. So 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 we're at 48. Go ahead and put it up to uh, I'm 140, I'm 440. Oh, you're still at 40? I was at 40, yeah. Uh oh, oh you're right, because I said that you'd be at 80. So go ahead and put it up to 52. So it's going to be. What happened to this? I thought we were, I thought we were doing this. No, we could have done this, right? Ah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. No dipping, stop flat. Right stopping high. Right 
stopping high. There it is. That's where it stops. Keep your eye on the right. Stop high. Right stopping high. Watch the right, dude. There. There it is. <laughs> right? Doesn't it do this? Stop here. Every time. can just move through different speeds, different heights, throws, bring in the arms. Right? I'm not really used to doing that with this grip, but it's cool. See, it's there. Right? And we're all we're all the work in progress. Absolutely. And so you've embraced that work. So very cool. OK. So. The gig is right, and it should all and it should all work with 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 traditional as well. That's good. pad isn't set up for right but it's a different grip but it's all the same principles really okay follow these principles just because i'm in traditional grip doesn't mean that i don't suddenly stop the, 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 the funny thing the, the funny thing is that i started with traditional grip for a long time right i played corpse when i started right 
So, <laughs> so in a way, I got there's parts that I do still feel more comfortable with tradition. Just well, it's at some point when once you master. Once I master, let's do traditional, yeah. And we'll get. I think Carlos Vega towards the end was studying with Dick in traditional. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, towards the end. And he found it, apparently it was a little he was surprised because it, it is a different grip, right? The stick is running through the hand in a different way, but essentially we're dealing with forced resistance yeah. applied to a lever arm over a fulcrum. Principles that are the same, yeah. Okay, cool. Minutes off, you're welcome. Good job.